Stay upstairs while we're open. I'll just add this. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. <laughs> Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. <laughs> Try not to... Come on, you're... Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. What the? What is this place? Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you... I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? That's... It's a shame. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine, but keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh, I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. 
There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strength born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay?
You guys send messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. That's not good. Morning. 